<laughs> so this is Isla's 10 month update. It's been a while. Um, I was hoping to do it, get time to do it before Christmas. Because you were 10 months the day before Christmas Eve, but we didn't get a chance to, obviously. Um, so, better late than never, hey. So you're 10 months. I'm very intrigued in the camera right now. <laughs> um, she isn't walking yet, as I'd thought she might be, but um, no, she's still very unsure on walking. She's taken a few more steps, but she's not confident enough, basically. Um, she takes a few steps, she, like, sometimes when she's moving around, trying to get things. Um, but for the most part, she she walks confidently, like, when holding on to someone's hand or holding on to something, like her walkers and stuff. And sometimes she almost lets go, but she just, there's obviously, like, that fear of falling and whatnot. So she just, you know, drops back down to the floor and carries on crawling. <laughs> but hey, she'll get there, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we've obviously got loads and loads of toys for Christmas, which I'm hoping to do a video about um, what she got. And she got this pretend um, tea set. Um, sorry, actually, it's just here. This one, to be precise. Um, and she loves it. And every time, like, we play with it, like, we, you know, do the sounds for it and use it. <laughs> like that. Um, yeah, she gets the teacup and she'll pretend to slip with it. And oh. we've sat there and had a little tea party and she'll pretend to nibble on the cakes. And it's so cute. She really is much more interested in, you know, using, she obviously uses her imagination and it like role playing and stuff. I mean, it's so cute. <laughs> um, she plays really well by herself and with the people and um, she's quite good at like sharing, like she gives things to people and like she'll let you take them sometimes. Obviously she does take them back and that and she doesn't quite completely understand, but she does give and take a little bit, um, which is really sweet. And she says, mama, dada, nana, um, Isla, yeah, no, um, oh dear, um, she mimics a lot of sound, um, I'm not sure, like, she knows who um, mummy and daddy are, um, but she seems to be calling quite a lot of guys dada, and she calls out for mummy when she wants help, um, and when she's upset, and that, um, she comes to me, obviously, and she has been uh, really clingy lately, like, she's just been wanting me constantly. What were you? You trying to put your foot in Daddy's shoe? <laughs> There's Daddy's shoe. Daddy's. <laughs> you are funny. Um, yeah, she. It's just a funny little monkey, aren't you? Um, she's been wanting me a lot more. Like, it doesn't matter who she's with. If she gets a little bit upset or she's a little bit tired and that, she starts wanting me. Um, and calls out for me. Um, which is nice in some ways, but obviously it's hard when I'm trying to do something or like I need her to be looked after by someone else. I mean, she's not the thing about going to someone else for the most part. She can be looked after and she'll settle. Like if I do go out of the room and she's a little bit upset that I've left, she'll settle pretty quickly. So it's not a huge issue at all. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. She has gone into nine to 12 month clothing like recently. She suddenly had a growth spurt like overnight. Um, for a long time she was still in six to nine. I mean she still fits in a lot of six to nine stuff, but more the bigger size of six to nine. Um and yeah, she started wearing six to nine to twelve clothes. Um but she's still a little skinny miss, so she's still in size three nappies. She's just really long and slim. Um I mean she eats well, she's still eating three times a day. She, you know, is really good with her feeding, she feeds herself most of the time. We're encouraging her to drink from her sippy cup more herself because she's She's become a little bit stubborn that she wants us to do everything for her with like the bottles sort of thing. Um, where even though I know she can do it because she has done it on and off. Um, but yeah, I've been encouraging her to do it herself more recently. And today she did really well. She was feeding herself really well, weren't you? I'm going to start using spoons more and letting you do it. Where are you going? I'm going that side. You want to get squeaky. Not that one. Yeah, she knows how to use a lot of her toys now. Like, she is really good with playing puzzles, um, fitting different things in different places. Obviously not too, like, difficult, but simple shapes and stuff she can do. Um, she knows how to turn a lot of her toys on and off and what to do to get a reaction from them. Um, 
she obviously got so many toys from Christmas and like she's been enjoying playing with a whole load of new toys. Got loads of new bath toys as well, which she's been enjoying a lot more. Um, um, but yeah, she loves things that make music and noise as always, like she always has done, as you guys know. Um, but she loves making music as well. She also knows what tap means now, so if you say tap, 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 she'll bang away on something. Um, and yeah, it's just really cute to see her do so. Um, she loves, is loving story time more recently. Um, she, I mean, she's loved it for, for quite a while, but I mean, she had a phase where she wasn't that interested. And um, we got a few new books for Christmas, which I think is partly why she's liking it a bit more now. But she has randomly started, like the other day, she got a book off the shelf in here and just came up to me and brought it to me and then plunked herself, like caught onto the sofa, plunked herself beside me and gave me the book. And I read it to her and she sat there and like normally when we're like in her room just before bed we'll read to her. She'll sit there for a little while and we'll read a couple of stories but she starts to get bored after a while. But she didn't, she just wanted to do it herself and she's been so much more intrigued, so much more interactive and she, I feel like sometimes she's mimicking what I'm saying, not quite exactly saying the same as what I'm saying, but still feels like she's interacting and trying to talk or tell a story herself. It's really cute. Uh, the other thing, really cute thing that she's been doing quite a bit is that when we've had, because we've had soup and stuff on and off over the last couple of weeks, and um, obviously we blow on it when it's really warm or or food that's like hot and that. Um, so now when it, like, quite often, even when it's cold food, she'll start blowing on it. Um, it's really sweet to see, but yeah. Another little cute thing that she started doing, and she started giving kisses as well. Um, only little bits on and off sometimes, but um, she does the whole meh, meh, but she doesn't really properly kiss, obviously it's more open mouthed, slobbery kiss, <laughs> but it's really cute to see her do it. Yeah, she's definitely mimicking a lot more sound recently, um, but she's just a happy, smiley, giggly baby most of the time, to be honest. She, I feel like her character is coming out more and more. She's seeming more like an actual little girl now, more than a baby. Um, and it's obviously becoming very close to her birthday. Um, and you've got two more months, and that's like, like just crazy to me. <laughs> I can't believe she's not my tiny little baby anymore. <laughs> this is going up too fast. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, this little monkey absolutely loved Christmas, more for the people than the presents, obviously. Um, we had it here, I think I've said that before, but yeah, we had it here and my family came over for Christmas dinner and they came over in the morning and stuff. And we had presents with them and then Liam's parents and family came over in the afternoon and joined us. And um, yeah, it was so nice to have everyone here. It was so nice to just, I don't know, feel really homely and obviously being able to host it and... I don't know, it was just something as more memorable, I suppose, for Ida's first Christmas as well. And I know she absolutely loved having it, like, she was mesmerised. She slept most of the day, though. She had a really long nap that day. Um, but she was still mesmerised and absolutely overwhelmed by everything and everyone and enjoyed it. She got into unlocking her presents eventually. <laughs> yeah. Um, to start with, in the morning when she had her stocking presents, she opened one present and then just got fixated on it and did not want to um, like open any more. Didn't obviously understand that there was more. Um, eventually, we started getting her into it and that, and then she just wanted to play with everything. Um, like I said, I want to do a video on what she got, but for her main present, we um, put up, we got her a um, ball pit, sorry. <laughs> ball pit. Um, with obviously loads of balls and that and she absolutely loved it like to start off she was a little bit shy on it the, on actual Christmas day but since she's been loving it and we've still got it up in her room at the moment um, and she just like throws herself in there and throws the balls everywhere and it's just it's been so nice that she's been so happy with everything and like she is literally everyone says that she's such a happy baby and that they like you know she must be such a delight and all that sort of thing which obviously she yeah. is yeah you happy, you happy baby. But she is, she's just like, she's not like hardly ever grumpy. Like when she is, it's normally because she's tired and of obvious reasons and understandable, but she's just so happy and chatty and smiley and she's always wanting people's attention and she's always getting attention. <laughs> and yeah, gorgeous little girl. You gonna say goodbye? Because I think that's everything. And one of my hopefully New Year's resolutions is to um, try my hardest to make more videos um, and 
keep up with my channel a bit more because I have not been doing well for ages and I know I haven't been doing very well but I am determined I will <laughs> I will do better and yeah if there's anything you guys want to see obviously let me know I am hopefully going to do a room update of hers it's not completely finished but I definitely will show you guys and maybe a house tour depending on it's not finished either but depending oh, on yeah. how well it gets put back together because it's still obviously you need to take Christmas decorations and everything down yet so yeah um, I would say goodbye to Anna but she's disappeared <laughs> she's over there anyway thanks for watching